NBC Animation means it's time to take a look at Saturday's top play. Columbus and Columbus and makes the top play. How about some lacrosse? Stony Brook's Tom Capitello diving the wraparound goal. Look at this. We got more from Stony Brook and Denver coming up. Two, one. Number one, lacrosse, Denver, Stony Brook, sound up. The penalty flag comes up. Are you kidding me? Crowley with an amazing goal and it's 7-6. Ranked in the top 10 in the preseason for the first time in school history, the Stony Brook men's lacrosse team is poised for a return to the NCAA tournament. Led by head coach Rick Soule, Stony Brook, which is ranked 5th in the coaches poll, 6th in the Nike Inside Lacrosse, and 4th by Lacrosse Magazine, features an explosive offense and a fast defense. Four preseason All-Americans, led by Kevin Crowley, has the team ready for a chance at history as the squad looks toward new heights in 2011. Featured on attack will be number 11, Jordan McBride, number 12, Kyle Belton, and number 23, Tom Compatello. Last season, McBride had 48 goals, becoming Stony Brook's all-time leader with 134. Belton, who had 23 goals, scored a goal in each of the last nine games. And finally, Compatello, who entered the season with 39 points, had 37 goals and 35 assists, earning honorable mention All-American. Backing up the starting attack is number 5, Russ Bonanno, a transfer from Nassau Community College. Number 30, Matt Belando, a three-time All-American from the St. Andrews School in Florida. And number 18, Brett Jarost. Starting at midfield is number 20, Timmy Trenko. Number 21, Kevin Crowley. And number 37, Robbie Campbell. Trenko, who started each of the last 32 games, amassed 10 goals and 10 assists for the Seawolves last season. Crowley, a first-team All-American, had one of the best seasons in Stony Brook of men's lacrosse history, recording 51 goals and 26 assists. The Enners Award winner, given to the nation's most outstanding Division I player, was also a finalist for the Tawaratan Trophy. Campbell, a capable two-way midfielder, had an outstanding season recording 20 goals and 17 assists. But the offense arguably starts with number 10, Adam Rand, one of the game's premier face-off specialists. Rand won 266 face-offs last season and is 11th all-time in Division I history. Also seeing time in midfield is number 45, Graham Adams, who scored four goals in 17 games, and junior college transfer number 9, Adam Doms. Coach Shaw will depend on a couple of speedy defensive midfielders in number 3, Vonzel Legal, and number 13, Jared Laverne. The two combined for 62 ground balls and 20 caused turnovers while also adding 6 goals. At long stick midfielder, Coach Sol will look to number 17, Greg Michelli, and number 27, J.J. Lafarette, to replace the graduated Stephen Waldeck. With the loss of Mike Sopko and Chris Ginlet to graduation, Coach Sol will look to number 4, Savon Green, number 16, Brian Reinert, and number 44, Kyle Moeller. Moeller, who Coach Sol calls a classic takeaway defenseman, is a transfer from Manhattan College, where he led the Jaspers with 23 cause turnovers, earning all MAC defensive team honors. At 6'3", 200 pounds, Green has the size and speed to play anywhere on the field. Reinert, who played in all 17 games last season, is an extremely physical defender. Freshman Jack Vavginiak, a recruit out of Manchester, England, will also see time at defense. The Seawolves will look to fifth-year senior Rob Camposa in goal in 2011. Camposa started three games in 2009, including the America East semifinal win against Albany, propelling the Seawolves to the America East championship game. Stony Brook has a tough 2011 schedule, including games against Virginia, Cornell, Bryant, UMBC, and Albany. But as always, the goal is to get back to that America East Championship game with another shot at the title. <laughs>